Hello. Hello and welcome to another shenanigans. And for once you are actually watching myself play in the Minikaze. I've had a lot of user replays over the Christmas period. But like all replays, I need a little bit of a help. So we have the joys of watching Capitan Zussi Joker sailing in the in the Icarus Tier 6 British DD. And we both have a pretty damn fine games. One where mine is more I need a help. I need a hand, because we're doing as best we can. And Captain Joker here coming to the rescue. So let's flip back to my viewpoint as I just start capping a point. So just start capping it. I just sneaked in there to get it. And I'm doing what every DD should and actually take this for my team. Notice that my detection radius is actually quite high considering I'm sailing a Japanese destroyer. And that's mainly because this is an 8 point Caton. So I don't actually have Concealment Expert on her as yet. And the fact that I've spotted the Farragut there certainly indicates that he is also sailing without a Captain with Concealment Expert. It's not on, not bad considering we're only tier 5 so you're not expecting it too much. But I put smoke just in case and I just need to take this for our side so we can start gaining some cap points. And also being a good DD player he is, Joker is doing exactly the same over in D point at the moment. But unlike me who had zero people in the cap he has definitely got a DD in here somewhere because he hasn't been spotted the destroyer has not been spotted he's running hydro acoustic so he's trying to spot anything that's coming up and like while he's using the train and just hugging and hiding behind this island the his friendlies are shooting across over the top of it and sure enough there's the enemy Minakazi player and he's popped smoke mainly because of those aircraft because he does not want to be spotted and now we're getting a massive Mexican standoff here with um, Joker one side of the island and a Minikaze the other side. It doesn't matter about Hydroacoustic at this point because they're so flipping close that they're just proxy spotting each other or body spotting and literally everybody is trying to take out him and equally everybody on this on his side is trying to take out oh that was close the enemy Minikaze and we've got a Terrifying game of cat and mouse with 32 inch torpedoes. <laughs> so sure enough, he takes a hit, he makes a gun. Oh god, truth, that could have been very, very nasty. The island takes a torpedo, so he doesn't get the kill, and that was not a good trade. Cool, you did ride your luck there, my friend. But you are the joke in the pack and his own side are trying to take out the DD and coming close to hitting him. So we just... But again we're back off this Mexican standoff. It's almost about who can flank who to actually get the angle to shoot the DD. Can it be the enemy and take out Joker? Or is it going to be his own team taking out the Minikaze? Now as this deadly game of cat and mouse is going on, we are actually having a different problem over an A point. So we've pushed, been pushed back here from the A point and I'm just literally doing some covering torpedo fire to take on, I believe it's the Dunkirk there which is pushing up. Now I just see the Farragut, I think yep he's the priority target, he's the spotting power but I make a bit of a misplay here, I know I'm detected so I put, punch the speed so trying to throw up any shots. Do you see those three Prince Fredericks over there? Yeah, they're making a play for the center circle. I have am absolutely oblivious at that at the moment. There's the Dunkirk. I am just desperately trying to stop the um, cap because we've just taken it. I do not want it to fall into the enemy hands, even though he's sailing a beautiful broadside there. Got to try and get him. Fire out again. I'm getting shot, shot at because like every uh, good player should. And oh, blast. Blast, double blast, and triple blast. Yeah, we got some other problems. There's the Prince Friedrich. Yeah, pushing on the left hand side. And then it's at this point I notice where his other two teammates exactly are. They are pushing right into our C point. 
splitting our team directly in half. Yeah, this is not good at the best of times. And guess where old uh, or Joker is happening at the moment. Yep, UBS is still stuck behind the island playing the worst game of chicken you can ever imagine. So he's still a min minuscule health. Minikaze has taken a torpedo salvo against the pushing battleship to the left. And is still stuck behind the island. But we're still at this dangerous stage where it's either side can take this. Because they've got to go far enough round to get shots on that Minikaze or shots on Joker here. He's still detected. He's pushed back. But he's in luck because the enemy cruiser has pulled back enough. So he's thinking about making a play. And you can see now his team have gone enough to get round. But remember, this is happening at exactly the same time as the Friedrichs are pushing into the cap. Still, they've gone round the right hand side of this island. So they're even further away from Sea Point. And the only thing there is a cruiser. But they've done the coup de grace. Timing is everything. We can now cap this a point in peace. Well, unless he doesn't pull a knot, so that is. But sure enough, oh, we lose a cruiser in the process. And there's a battleship far to our um, on our west, who is the closest point to sea, and he's backtracking. But he's low health, and the CV has spotted this. He's getting focused down by aeroplanes. But he, and there he goes. He's just been gotched as well. This is not looking good, because we still haven't capped D point yet. And we are very far away from actually protecting it. So let's flip that to my point and see how we are getting on. So there you have it. There's one of the three Friedrichs, um, Prince, Prince Friedrichs in the cap. And we're just all I've got to do is just protect it. So just and I get a lucky couple of torpedo strikes against the one that went left the island, but there's still two others. Our whole team is pushing back. The only thing stopping these guys is a myself and a CV. But we're still trying to get him. That's the only one that's gone the wrong side. You could say wrong side or the incorrect side because he's getting things. I fire another salvo, get another two uh, defender ribbons. And that's all I can do at this time. I just need to stop them capping that point. Otherwise, we are, have had it. But it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot of luck and a lot of time. Because if you can see, the enemy are still... We've still got nobody. I'm the closest along with CV who can't really do very much. Shots out again to try and recap it. Sure enough, another four because the four hits. We reset it again. A point is still being contested, so we're doing both at the moment. So I fire set to defend, fire another set of against this guy, so for another set of torpedoes against him. It's getting very, very hard work to keep up with this at the moment. Aim up. He's getting pummeled quite severely, so he's not long in the world. But sure enough, there is the other one in the cap, which is the more problem. I know RNG Jesus is not with, and dispersion is not with the Germans, but even so, it still doesn't help with the good old blood pressure. I can tell you that. And again, reset the cap. Pushing myself up to double figures in cap flags. And sure enough, and again, another two cat flags. It's all about how long I can keep this up for until friendlies arrive to actually save the day. Oh my god. And again, might pop the smoke. Actually have some point of contact. Have some breathing room. Sure enough, A is still being contested. We're still doing well at that. But this one of the uh, three is not long in this world. It's minimal health. But well, still, I've got to tweak my fire to again. Oh, he's out the cap. That was a bad mistake. That was a misplay on his part. But he knows that there's two others coming in. So he's going to leave it for them. Come on. Come on. Can we actually sink this guy? No, we cannot. And he's out of my gun range. I need to move out this smoke. Let's have a look at um, Joker at this point in time. So he's pushing around at this moment. And he's... Finally capped uh, D point and now he's pushing away. He sends an opening salvo against the um, enemy cruiser there. It was just behind that island, the one that was giving him so much problems. It's a bit of a, you know, uh, bit of payback here. And the replay is a bit poor, as always. Thanks, Wargaming. Love you too. 
And they're looking pretty tasty. Is it going to be his first kill? Come on. It's a little bit far. Yes, they're looking good. Is it two or three? It's two, but it's enough. Devastating strike. And uh, one kill to his name. Opening the, the, the books at probably about 10 minutes in. But he did his best. And now it's just uh, him and me. And those three Friedrichs coming into the cap. Can he get back in time? That is the question. Can he save our bacon? Come on. Let's swap back to my viewpoint as I just leave the smoke. So there you hear it. There's Joker coming in at the top hand corner there. And there's the Friedrich which I'm spotting from behind. Do I ever go for it? Nope. I changed my fire right back towards the cap here. Because they're the more important ones. Waiting for the guns to turn around. Going for the torpedo strike here to just take them round. But he's getting close. It's getting very, very close here. So let's swap back to... Um, a Joker's viewpoint and see how he gets on. So he's coming around, he's and seen that Friedrich, which is right behind the island, and he's setting up for a beautiful torpedo strike. Doesn't bother with the single shots, and literally is very good there, holds his fire. They're looking very good. Can he do a second devastating strike and second kill? Oh, yep, I think he can. Come on. One, two, three, four, and gone. Brilliant play there. Absolutely brilliant. And sure enough, that has saved one of the three here. But we still need to defend this cap. What is open? So he's coming around the island. And he's quite rightly, he will go into the single strikes here. Aim for the higher health Friedrich there. Pops his smoke because he's getting focus fire with his secondaries. See about getting the kills. And it's me getting that final strike against that DD. A uh, battleship, sorry. Come on. My torpedoes missed. They're the ones who just disappear in the waypoint and he's very patient here very very patient but he says hydro he's disappeared but i fired and i'm spotted so the friedrich has um has a go at me which is behind the island here torpedoes out does a single salvo making sure that the spread is a lot wider so we can get a lot the friendly cv gets involved but with the the um anti-air being particularly strong in that uh, new premium does literal none damage and sure enough one hit two hits three hits and four devastating strike well third devastating strike should i say fantastic play there and really coming back in the nick of time to save me he's definitely my hero in this point of view and pretty much that is the end of the game that moment swung it right back to our team so fantastic, well played there. Let's check out the results screen. And with 115,000 points of damage, 11 torpedo hits, three devastating strikes against three kills. Very well played. You certainly were the hero of this engagement, coming back to save my skin. But just how many defender rooms did I get? 18. Not bad, but really, hats off to you, Joker, with a base XP of 1,900. You certainly did the best. Thank you very much for sending your replay through to me. If you have a replay, links in the description below. I've been Mitch from Slack. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.